Hello and welcome to the 2012 FIA GT1 World Championship. We've got nine brands competing in the championship this season across nine countries. It's all set to be a fantastic year. We've got Hexis Racing just behind us. They are the defending world champions. And Hayley, who are you looking forward to seeing race? Well, it's going to be great to see Fred racing back with the world champions and Steph Dusseldorf also has joined the team again. So it'll be interesting to see whether they can defend that title. But it's great to see Michael Bartels as well returning with Vita 4-1 this time, but in the BMW. He was obviously our first ever GT1 world champion with uh, Bertolini. Uh, but also we've got so many great GT3 drivers that have graduated from the GT3 European Championship up to the GT1 World Championship. So we have our Michelin Award winner, Francesco Casalacci. He's going to be one to watch with his also his co-driver, who's Enzo Ide. He was fantastic in the European Championship last year. So looking forward to the racing getting started. And what a fantastic day for the weather as well. Yeah, absolutely. We've got some real top quality teams. We're just going past uh, AF Corsa, the top Ferrari team in the world, competing with us here this weekend. And uh, John, as Hayley touched upon, beautiful weather it should be a great weekend for the fans here at Nagaro well Easter eggs out for everybody over the weekend <laughs> the weather is out hopefully it'll stay as clear and warm as it is we're here at Nagaro or as the French call it Nogaro and, and it's a very important circuit within the French Motor Racing Federation lots and lots of famous French Grand Prix drivers have raced here in their formative years Formula 3 Formula Renault and we're gonna have a cracking weekend this weekend with the GTs 18 cars in the grid nine teams each of those teams, two cars per team. So we've got just two manufacturers out of each of the nine teams. I'm excited about it. Can't wait to see what's going to happen on the race on Sunday. And then, of course, on Monday, Easter Monday, is the championship race. Not often we have a race on Monday. No, it's going to be absolutely fantastic. And you can make sure you keep up with all the action on the GT1 World website. We'll see you on track.